Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Zoo. So what are we going to be doing today? Well, we're going to be starting on an ostrich um, exhibit. <laughs> there we go, if I can find the words. Um, so we're going to be doing it in this area, which is currently covered in just tons and tons of grass, or long grass. So we're going to do the nice, good old way to get rid of it, which is just plonk one of these down, and I get rid of it, and then that'll just wipe out a massive area of it. Because we've got the glass and stuff here, we don't really need to worry. Um, now I have got, like, well, not really planning issues, I guess, but in a way, space issues. I don't know. It, I don't want to say space issues because they're not really proper issues. It's just that the road, I'm going to have a road going around the side of it. And it's actually going to be a very big road. <laughs> well, it's going to be a double laner. So if I show you guys this and where we are. So this here, this road here, um, what I'm going to do is this is going to be going across here. It's actually going to be going angled. And I need to, sooner rather than later do the actual angled part of it so that I know what this edge is and then this is going to come around or, or come back in or whatever. So it's almost like it's been built after the zoo has been built and then, then everything has been built around everywhere. Um, so I've started to curve in this wall. I don't know what's going to go here. We can have something there that's a little bit different. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe just to, no, you wouldn't just have a garden centre. That would be rubbish. <laughs> but you know what I mean. We'll have something that goes in here that will fit in, in that gap. Um, at some point, so I need to figure out that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. I wanted to talk about, yeah, so I've got, I've got those issues, but I wanted to expand a bit more in here. I want to get all the savannah animals done, uh, so we're going to be kind of trying to push forwards quite quickly. But yeah, ostriches today. Now, um, one of my subscribers, um, actually called Nikki8, actually sent me a basically a picture on uh, Twitter, uh, if I can speak, on Twitter. Yeah, so I've got like a picture on Twitter of an actual ostrich, which looks really awesome. So they've sent it. So it's not their design. They said they said they they did see it on the server, and they just thought it ju just would fit like amazingly well. So thanks to Nikki to actually send that. So um, honestly, thanks so much for sending that design. It's an awesome design as well. So what are we gonna do? Well, I don't think we really need a massive fence as such for this, do we? We just need some simple, you know, iron bars on some sort of platform. Um, we can't really use this grey now. Well, I can, but I don't really want to use that grey. Maybe we can even do it black, like bedrock. It's more black, like grey type thing. I'm gonna have this going around uh, to a no, to a to a staff only zone because we've got this edge piece here. And then we can we can actually block off this and have uh, some stuff for the baboons as well. I am planning on doing the little cave in here, which um, goes to like an inner area uh, in case it's like really really stormy. So we're gonna we're gonna have that uh, as well. So I don't really know what shape this is going to be. I don't even know what size it is. What I'm, well, actually I do kind of know what shape it's going to be. What I want, and I'll do a mini little plan uh, right up in the air, is I want to have... Well, I can't really do it up in the air. You idiot. All right, let's, let's just do it here. <laughs> right, we're going to have like grass around uh, like a central place. And it's going to have water... No, it's not. It's going to be the other way around. It's going to have water around the edges <laughs> on these bits. And that's going to have like this central point going to hear, or we're going to have it the other way around, we have it that way, so the zookeepers can actually come in and feed them from the back here, and I think that might work. Let's do something different, really, so, um, yeah, that's what I want to do. I also want it to kind of fit in here. Now, this, because we've got the lions here, what I was thinking of, and yes, I've still got some biome issues, what I was thinking of here is, is almost like blocking off the line of sight somehow, so whether I use the trees over on this side or, or whatnot, I don't know. We'll see, but if we just go for this at the minute, uh, I actually want to make it obviously random, random shapes. You do not want standard shapes. Actually, I can do all that bit later on. So there we go. Forget that. This bit here can just have a normal tree in it. So if we just do like this, uh, we don't want to go too close to it. You know, it's fine to have like a pretty big path. Is what I'm trying to say to myself, and I am talking to myself. Okay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Right, so that's what we get. Over the back here, so we get water going around here. Just like a small amount. I think, yeah, maybe have the land go most of the way there. But we don't, I, I can't see them jumping, is what I'm saying. Okay, so this is where we're going to have like the gate or whatever. I'm like going right the way over. We'll just have a double one like that. Yeah, it'll look like Stonehenge, it's fine. Um, there we go. Get this going. There. It's actually quite big. I think it's similar size to 
lions. <laughs> if I knew the lions were going to be bigger than like that that big statue that I used, then I would have made the lion exhibit bigger, guys. I would have. I would have. But I forgot. Well, I didn't really forget. Just didn't do it. Okay. Anyway. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get down onto these bits. What I'll do, I'll do the uh, the other bit off camera because you don't need to see me put up the uh, iron bars. I'm going to do it really simply this time. I might even do a slightly different design. I might show you guys first though of what I've got in my head. Or just got in my head. So I'll have like one, two, three, one, maybe two, three. Because that's way, way high enough. Well, we th I think. Have that. And then on the outside, I'm actually going to have every soft and Instead of having like normal pillars, I'll have like this design, which um, I've seen on Huntington before. Obviously not used like this, but, you know, for a, a zoo. But, um, yeah, there we go. It's cool. This is becoming into like, let's design a gate wall thing. It's good. So, like that. I'll just have those going up on the sides. Like some sort of pole. Does that look good? So from the outside, from there, it looks good. There it does not. Okay. Maybe I won't do that, but at least I've tried it. Uh, no. I think I think just leave it like that. Just have it really, really open. Um, and yeah, that'll work. So there we go. We get that. Uh, this watery part here. Oh, first, we need to get rid of all of these bits. We're going to have to buy them up. A little bit as well. Let's just go for some water around it. Yeah, we'll just do this. I want to do this by hand rather than world edit because you get a more natural feel for everything if you do it this way. Otherwise, if you do it world edit, you do just get these like the horrible crosses. And people that have used world edit will know what I mean. The horrible crosses. There we go. So we'll get these. And we'll try and. Get more than okay, so there we go. That's what the that's the water there it is. That's what that is. Okay, so I think that okay. Well, there's an obvious bit. There we go. So we're gonna cut that that up there. And uh, cut these back a little bit. Start to make it look like it's too standardized. Um, uh, I think maybe just. In general, I'll cut more off this because it doesn't really matter. Because you can't really see from that side. It's going to be mainly like this side that you can you can peek in and have a look. Okay, so let me get that. If we grab Savannah Bomb, not my not my bomb. Okay, we're going to do some like patchy stuff. This one. It's not going to be perfect. You know, it can be a little bit patchier. We got to remember where I need to put the trees, which is going to be over here, or we can do some other sort of blocking thing. I don't really know. Mm. Just need to get around a little bit in the water. There we go. So we get this weird fruit shaped thing. <laughs> we have lots and lots of biomes in it. There we go. So we get that. Um, obviously, we'll do all these bits as well. Uh, this can probably be an extra layer down as well. But think I can do, well, I will do that bit off camera, because that's that's the kind of like boring stuff you guys really don't need to see, like doing this, you know, you don't need to, um, actually we can just do it randomly, let's not do it perfect, let's do it a bit more, like there's just random banks and just, yeah, that works a bit better, doesn't it, there we go, and this one could be, yeah, I'll make it, let's make it look natural for God's sake. For the sake of God. <laughs> I don't know why, that's such a weird saying, isn't it? For God's sake. Because it's not really used in a religious context. I don't know. I'm just going nuts. There we go. So that's all we're going to have. And then, because we'll, we've got that, we can now do... Oh, slash, slash, fill. R8. Uh, probably about 30 so. There we go. Now, those bits of... Uh, grass that's sticking up. That is a mod that I've got called uh, Better Foliage. I need to turn it off for this type of episode. <laughs> Problem is it, it, it needs me to go back to the start menu to do it. Alright, so that's, that's what we're going to have. We're going to have that. We're going to have all of these three blocks high. Um, and kind of simple. There, like that. Now let's get on to some of the uh, other stuff. We might 
I'm just going to extend this episode. Screw it. We'll do it all in one episode. So there we go, guys. You're going to get an, a really nice long episode. Oh, I say really nice long episode. There's just going to be bits where I'm going to do stuff off camera, obviously. So imagine that the fence is done. Imagine. Um, can you imagine it? Maybe? No? I'll do. Oh, damn it. All right, so we're going to have like a tree here and... that and uh, I'll do it that'd be absolutely fine it's fine it doesn't really need too much to be honest that looks too like normal anyway there we go so that's fine so I have like a nice little tree um, that will at least stop oh, will it lines can still kind of see but they can't see as well so I can't block off too much of it, that's the issue that I've got. Oh well. Right, okay. So that's all that. I think actually it needs a little bit more of this. Um, where is it? Where are you? Savannah. Just a little bit more. Savannah or desert or something, you know. The drier ones. Just a touch more. But I still think it needs to be a bit patchier, this one. Just, yeah. There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay, so then we can have some rocks as well. Even a little hill or something. They don't really need a shelter, do they? <laughs> just just realised that, that now I've built it. I actually don't have one. Alright, okay, we have a tiny little bit of a hill. It's not really a hill, is it? But like that. That's going to be Aust Ostrich Hill. There we go, so we get that. And let's put them on there. I've got a nice little hill. I actually did add more than I thought it would. And I'm also going to have... I'm actually going to have some normal rocks. Let's have a nice little one there. Maybe one at the back. And this. There. And one thing that I did forget in the monkey exhibit, and you guys probably noticed as well, um, was obviously food. How do they get fed? And... Those ones apparently don't. <laughs> I'll do something in the inside that makes sense. I think this needs to be the ground, doesn't it? There you go. So I have something like that. They got loads of water around, and I'll do the edge bits and do that that edge bit. Right, so let me get that. Uh, we can then dot around like grass and stuff. But first, let's make one of these things. So we're gonna have a couple. I think we're gonna have. Now I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use these. I'm gonna use never brick because of the pink nature of it. Um, you can also do, I don't know, I don't know if I want to do like a white taily bit or like a black one. I might even be able to do it with that one. Yeah, we'll do it with that one. Do it with that one and uh, some dark grey feathers. And then the other one is going to be, well they, they're kind of like a lighter grey aren't they? So I'll actually use grey for that and that. So I'll actually use Okay, this will make more sense as soon as I get onto it. I don't even know if the player head will work. If it doesn't, I'll find an alternative for it. Now, the actual picture that was sent to me was actually too high. Then too high on top of that, which is huge. So I'm actually going to be cutting this down just to just one block high there. But still having this go up. And that's where there would be a player head. On the back of there, we're going to have that. And we're also going to have grey carpet. So I could actually... Because I don't want to mess around with the metadata type stuff. Um... I say that and then I want to mess around with the metadata type stuff. <coughs> there we go. So then we get that. Obviously those are not feathers, but... Yeah, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. And you get those. So this is the design. Now this actually probably needs to be pink. There we go. Pink. Because of course they do have like quite pink reddish things. <laughs> Don't know what you'd call them. Right, so we have that. I'm just going to try this. I... 397, go on. 3, 1... Player, I think it's Weedle. I don't know if it's actually. No, it's not. So I mean, I'll have a play around with that and see. It was basically this Weedle head, but um, it's with a new 1.8 database. <laughs> that just looks so creepy. <laughs> oh no, that's I can't use that. Basically, I, I know what I'll do. I'll put these on. 
and I'll find them because that will force me honestly to find them. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna have that. There we go. So we're gonna have that one. That's gonna be the male. Usually there's one male and there's quite a few females. So we're gonna have that. We're gonna have this one is a greyish one. With this bum sticking out again. And then up here as well. And this time I'm gonna have, obviously have the light grey. So grab that. Put those out there. There we go, grab those. Put that down, put the creepy head on it. <laughs> they just look awesome though, they actually do look like them, it's good. And then we're gonna have another one over here. Um, another female one, obviously. I'm gonna have these sticking out there. I'll slab some on the back. Like that. And then also, what am I doing? Front. Front going up there. Creepy head. That's all I need to grab, I think. I think I've just got those now. Yeah, I've just got those. So maybe just have three of them. So far, though, that is freaky as hell. <laughs> I don't know. I think it still looks good, though. Right. So now what we're going to do, we're going to get some ferns. We're going to get some grass. We're going to get some um, more ferns, <laughs> apparently. We're going to get the other type of grass as well. There is another type of grass. So if we do this and we go on to this one, shrub. That's the one it's called. It's called a shrub. I don't... I think they're actually the same, aren't they? Yeah, weird. Okay. So we have those. I'm just gonna hunt around. Obviously my fern does not look like a fern. It will at some point, sure. Maybe get some more grass as well. I'm only gonna have a little patch of it and we're not gonna have like huge amounts. So there we go, get those. Like that. And just the occasional one of these dead things. Just adding a little bit more of that yellowish colour. So that's the idea. These. There we go. But there we go, guys. That is it. So I'm going to have a play and try and find this goddamn player head. Um, also, the uh, you know bits like underneath here and the fence going around. And um, yeah, then we'll get on to another episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.